Hi, my name is Kathy Davis and I'm an attorney and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the work I do for real estate investors. I get lots of questions from real estate investors about what the best thing is for them to do in certain situations. One of those situations is whether or not they should organize as a corporation or an LLC as opposed to organizing as their sole proprietorship. There's all kinds of factors that go into that analysis including cost of insurance, um, some tax questions, and your own, um, your own uh, risk, risk analysis. Those are, it's definitely not a question that is cut and dried and the tr same is true for everyone. And so I would encourage you, if that's one of your questions, to talk to an attorney about it before you make a decision. Another question that I often get has to do with investing with other people. Oftentimes people will go together, pool their money in order to either flip a house or to buy a property for rental purposes. This is a great idea and a great way to pool your resources with people you know. However, you want to make sure that you have a written document outlining responsibilities including who is doing what work, who is bringing in what money to the table, and how any profits will be distributed at the end of the project. Those will clear up a lot of hurt feelings long before they happen. The last question I get has to do with renting property or letting people rent your property. I would encourage you to always have a written lease, even if it's a short-term lease of less than a year. This way you are protected in terms of the rules, the money, when money is due, and your eviction proceedings. Even if you're doing vacation rentals, you should still have some sort of terms and conditions in order to protect your investment. That's all for now. Again, my name is Kathy Davis. You can find out more about working with me at kjdlegal.com or at legalangel.us. Thanks.